Greetings and welcome to the updated installation tutorial for FreeBSD and DocMate, both at version 13. If you want to try out FreeBSD for the first time, or an experienced user who wants a simple way to install a full desktop system on a new PC, this video is for you. First, visit freebsd.org, navigate to the downloads and choose the version and processor architecture you want to install. Most likely AMD64 for our modern 64-bit Intel and AMD processors. Since I will be using a USB thumb drive, I'll download the memstick image. Once it's on my hard drive, I'm going to open the disk utility and restore the image to my USB stick. This will take a couple of minutes. Put the stick into your target machine. Hammer the BIOS or boot override key until you get into a menu like this. Select your thumb drive, but make sure you select the option that does not say UEFI or EFI, otherwise you might have issues with the graphics driver later. Boot the first option and follow the install wizard. Please install the source package as you might need it to recompile a kernel module later. All other packages are not required. Make sure you select the MBR partition scheme. Commit and wait until the base system is installed. Then follow the rest of the installation visit. Configure the system like you want to. I prefer a clean TMP folder, synchronized time, PowerD and no send mail but it's totally up to you. The whole procedure takes less than 4 minutes, then simply reboot. Once the base system has booted, log in as root, then change your folder to TMP. Fetch the darkmate install script from my site, which simply forwards to the GitHub project. It's an uppercase M, otherwise fetch won't find the file. Make the script executable and run it through SH. Now simply follow the wizard. Pick your location, key map and software. After that it's time for the video driver selection. At the bottom you will find the Kmod drivers for AMD and Intel, which should be very robust. Above that are the AMD and Intel Exoc drivers, and above that is the proprietary NVIDIA driver in its various iterations. Pick the driver that matches your card. I have a fairly recent Radeon card, so I am going with AMD GPU. Now is the time to add users to the system. If you don't have special requirements, leave UID, GID and home directory on auto and merely change username and password. After that, the installer will download and install all required packages. This will take about 10 minutes on my broadband connection, so grab a coffee or something. Video drivers are installed last. If everything went smoothly, simply reboot. This is the slim login window. Enter your username and password to get to the Mate desktop. The first thing I usually do is open the terminal and check uname, glxinfo and inksy to check on the system and the hardware. Looks like my video card is working as expected. Users have a set of predefined folders such as documents and downloads. There's also a RAM disk link that goes into TempFS. Remember that all files you put here won't survive a reboot. Firefox and Chrome are installed like I selected. Let's go to freebc.org and check out the text rendering. Looks like everything works, I can't see any tearing or lag. 
I hope you enjoy your new FreeBSD desktop system. If you find any bugs with the script or have suggestions for improvements, please have a look at the Darkmate GitHub project and let me know through the issue tickets.